Hello, and welcome to this second video in the Bonsai Species Profile series. This video will discuss junipers as a whole and some notable subspecies. Junipers are another species common to bonsai. In some areas, they have a poor reputation from historical problems. They come under the very broad name of juniperus, being imaginatively named as they are. Junipers take to a wide range of styles and quickly give rise to the illusion of age. Junipers are part of the wider genus of plants called Cupressa aceae. This includes many of the pine trees. The juniper family has up to 67 species, although some of these are debated. These have a wide range of geographical ranges. This is from the Arctic Circle to the Central American mountains. It is perhaps for this reason that junipers are a popular bonsai species. They tolerate varied soils, climates, and are easily sourced. For this video, junipers are divided into two main categories, prostrate and upright. The former are also known as creeping or ground cover species. The important division with these two broad categories is how they grow, habits, and limitations. Examples of the former prostrate variety are Juniperus procumbens nana, while the latter includes Juniperus trinensis, otherwise known as Shimpaku. This video will divide the necessary information when needed for each type of juniper. The average juniper as a broad rule, is a slow-growing evergreen with rough brown to black bark. The foliage varies from a vibrant lime green to dark green and blue green. The leaves are in fact made from small needle-like structures, very much like a pine. These needles form either into a needle or scale. The difference is in how hard and sharp they are, along with the foliage pad. Each of these will grow into its own branch over time. The other side of this is that junipers do not develop taper or trunk girth once they are potted. The tree is slow growing in this case. Even in the ground, the trunk may not develop, but branches will. The prostrate variety is likely to develop a number of leader branches. These will be almost like a trunk. This would nominally help in spreading across the ground. In bonsai, this is useful in creating cascades, rafts, maim, and similar. You do not want to work against the species nature. The alternative to this is the upright varieties. These will have a single trunk in most cases. If you are growing this from an early stage, you may wish to work on the nabari before training it as a bonsai. Once you start training a juniper as bonsai, it is suited to almost any other style of bonsai. Which is not better suited to a prostrate variety. The only exception to this is the broom styles, which are unnatural and unlikely to work with the species nature. Location is the first consideration with junipers. Unlike more delicate bonsai, a juniper can be placed in full sun, and depending on your location may benefit from doing so. Just be wary of prolonged dry periods. If this is a problem, then shade or partial shade will be adequate. Junipers, despite being hardy, cannot be kept indoors for long. Small specimens may survive, but neither juniper will be healthy. Soil is not a huge barrier with junipers, as it might be with other bonsai, like azaleas. A standard neutral potting mix suitable for bonsai trees will work. The only caveat is to ensure the mixture is free draining. Watering with junipers is a little tricky. Each tree or pot must be allowed to dry out before watering again. Not completely dry, but not like other species which must be kept moist. Water junipers only as and when needed. Overwatering is a leading cause of bonsai loss. And this is especially true of junipers. This also affects the second complication in watering them. Each must be thoroughly watered. Soaked might be a better description. Start at the top of the tree and keep watering them until you get to the base. Then keep watering for a little longer. 
Drainage is key for these two reasons. It will allow the excess water to flow freely, and this will in turn reduce soil compaction and root rot. Fertilizing is a direct product of the extreme watering schedule and the tree's nature. Having soaked the plant and allowed water to drain out, many nutrients and minerals will go as well. You will need to replace these by fertilizing every week. Use a quarter to half strength solution and diluting if necessary. Use a solid and liquid fertilizer in conjunction with a root growth promoter. Use a slow release fertilizer to prevent roots from being burned. This will give you vigorous growth. Pruning is the opposite end of this growth. In order to keep your tree looking its best, you want fresh new growth. On the other hand, you do not want to cut back branches that you have spent a long time growing. This is especially true of upright species with slow trunk growth. You may however need to keep prostrate varieties in check through regular pruning. The first step is to pinch back shoots. This is done by squeezing the branch and leaf tip between your fingertips. This will crush or break off the needles. The remaining part of the needle will then form into two new shoots. This will be done repeatedly over the juniper's growing season, whether it is a needle or scale juniper. This will encourage ramification. In broader terms, the process involves styling your tree at the end of winter to give structure, then allowing new growth in spring which you then pinch back and wire the branches again in summer. You then repeatedly pinch back until the end of summer when you remove the wire. Take your tree back to the silhouette you want and branch structure you want right before winter and then you wire it. Wiring is a varied issue with junipers, some parts being much easier than others. Young branches are very flexible. The branches get progressively harder to bend as they age. It is advisable to wrap large branches in raffia before wiring. You will need to leave wire on for at least a year in the case of large branches. Smaller ones can be rewired as needed. This will allow the branch to harden and become rigid. This in turn maintains the shape. The problem will be with vigorous growth. Wire will quickly cut into a tree that is growing quickly. This will take two years under good conditions and many more years in poor conditions to grow out. Repotting will be an irregular concern with junipers. The slow growth will limit this further as the tree ages. The process is as with most bonsai trees, removing large root mass, large roots, and creating a cavity under the root wall. There is a link in the top right with details. As junipers live for a long time and are hardy, jun and shari become common features. This is because junipers recover quickly, have a soft wood to carve, and the carvings are relatively easy to maintain for the life of the tree. A link to this is in the top right. Pests are the last common element of junipers. The most common pest species are aphids and spider mites. These suck away the tree sap and are often transplanted onto your tree by ants. These can be removed with the use of a suitable insecticide like pyrethrum. The other pest is the varied scale species. This is removed with a horticultural surfactant or soap. Some notes worth remembering with junipers. Always point the branch ends back up when wiring. If left pointing down, the branch may die. If left horizontal, the branch may not grow. When left pointing up, the branch will try to grow towards the light. Junipers will have some dieback when cut. Cut your branches slightly ahead of where you want the branch to end. The two categories of junipers have their own foliage patterns, with juvenile and mature leaves varying in hardness and pointedness. Some species are more likely to produce spiny leaves that are unpleasant to work with compared to others. Hopefully, knowing something about this species, you can make a better decision about gifting a tree choosing your own, or has answered some of your questions. Thank you for watching this video. If it has been of interest, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. 
please post any comments, questions or suggestions below.